Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are back in Scum playing on Europe Official 1 of course and the last time we played we have messed around with a new accumulated fatigue system and at the end of our session we bought a bedroll for about 1200 monies and planted it down on a roof at the city outpost and locked off in it in order to let our character rest. And in the meantime we have had a hotfix that reduced the accumulated fatigue. So I was excited to jump back in and check out the new changes but my excitement was instantly shut down. Alright so I just got back in the game. We locked off right here on a sleeping bed. What yesterday? And I got back in. Sleeping bed is gone. It's not in my inventory either so 1200 monies out the flipping window <laughs> what do you mean i can't lag in the in the bloody outpost with a sleeping bed on a roof what kind of witchcraft is this why not why not and guess what my stamina didn't even recover whilst i was logged off in my bedroll this is what i left her off the other day when we logged off in the bloody bedroll this is where we left it at it's been more than 24 hours but I guess because you can't log off in a bedroll at the outpost, that didn't even count. Yo, what up? <coughs> you boys see one of them bedrolls anywhere? No, no, no. No bedrolls? Damn. Alright, man. Thank you, have a have, 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 yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just had a... I just had a brain fart right there. So let me get this straight. Building a giant base, flush against the city outpost, basically camping it, killing whoever tries to get in. That's fine. Go right ahead. Putting down a bedroll at the outpost to safely lock off our characters and let them rest. Nope. That's not allowed. Planting traps and explosives at every bunker in the middle of the road. Go ahead. That's fine. Putting down a bedroll at the outpost to safely lock off. Nope. That's, that's not allowed. What the flip you think you're doing? That's not allowed. I'm taking your bedroll. And your character is not going to rest either. Flip off. Now joking aside, I really hope that this was a bug. Because if it's not, and we are forbidden from safely putting down our bedrolls at the outposts, that's, that's just not okay. We should be able to do it. Nevertheless, I filled up my backpack with a bunch of coffee. And I left the outpost. And the plan was to try and find some trade. Because I ran out of sewing kits. So I wanted to craft some more. And some more batteries for my NVGs. Because those things just eat up batteries like I eat up pancakes right <laughs> and as luck would have it i found exactly what i was looking for in the woods oh well hello oh better x mine is in terrible shape so i'll take this one thank you very much thread yes and batteries oh this is a gold mine for me a hunter i don't want that crowbar Nah, that's alright. That is perfect. First of all, I need batteries for my NVGs. And second of all, we need thread to make a sewing kit because I ran out of sewing kits. I do have a bone needle that we can use with the thread to make an improvised sewing kit. That was very loud. <laughs> my goodness, these ghost noises. Good lord. Alright, let me just take a quick break here because I need to craft an improvised sewing kit. And I'm going to use it to repair my shoes mostly because they get damaged pretty fast. Now after that I ran around from place to place chugging some coffee and looting. And as I was doing that I managed to find a Geiger counter which I never had on official one. So I wanted to see if I could make some nice cash monies from selling it. Unfortunately, it was only worth about 300 bucks. Now, since I was back at the outpost, I bought some more coffee and some biscuits because they help with fatigue as well. And I decided to go on a little bit of a journey to the big city of Samobor because the fog surrounding it has been changed up as well with the latest hotfix. So I wanted to take a look at it. Alright, so we are down in the green parts of the world. I've decided to go on a little bit of a journey because I believe I read that the fog from the big city has been modified in some way, shape or form and I want to check it out. Also, I want to mess around with this stupid, stupid system of, of staminas and fatigues and whatnot. So, 
I filled up my backpack with coffees and with crackers and I went on a journey. We're gonna check out the town in a quick second here. We are not far away from it, but I want to take a quick look here as well. See if I, if I can score any more food or coffee or energy drinks or whatever. And then we shall go and take a peek at the big town because I think they said that the fog has been either re reduced or amplified. I don't rem I don't remember exactly, but we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see how things stand right after we peek around at this small village. So far, the stamina is is fine. It's not really an issue. I've been chugging coffee. I've been eating. Oh man, is that a big base? Yeah, of course it is. I've been eating crackers, I've been chugging coffee and I haven't been resting at all besides the occasional crouching in a bush. I haven't actually been... I haven't been resting anywhere. All that I've done whenever my stamina goes too down, whoop, just do this for a quick second, allow it to go, to go back up. It is pretty low right now, it's what, 43? So we have accumulated fatigue 28. And since my character didn't rest when we logged off, this is from last time as well. And today I haven't rested at all, as I've said. I just drank a bunch of coffee, ate a bunch of crackers, and ran around through the woods. So, yeah. My stamina doesn't seem to go up past, what, 60? Yeah, it stays at 60. That's the maximum amount that we can have right now with minus 28. Or with 28 accumulated fatigue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place seems to be pretty looted. Besides that car battery right there. And a car seat, man! If this was close to the outpost, I would take it and sell it, but... <laughs> we're pretty far away from any and all outposts, so we gotta leave it behind, unfortunately. That hurts. That hurts real bad. I don't wanna leave behind car parts. But what can we do? We're far away from every outpost. Alright, so I've managed to make my way over to the big town and it looks like the fog is completely gone. Is it really completely gone? They've removed it. Can um, can we also apply the same thing to the accumulated fatigue and just remove it? That'd be grand. Is it gone all the way? There's no shot, they just added that. Oh no, I think bec it's because we're far away. Hold on, let me get closer here. I think since I'm pretty far away, it doesn't really render in. Let me just... Not get shot here and we'll take a look. From closer to the, to the town. Because it seems like the atmosphere has changed as soon as I kind of entered this area. Yeah, look at it. It's gradually changing. It's getting more and more foggy. Okay, okay. Right, so it is still here. But I think it's been dialed down a little bit. Alright, it is still here. I think it's... It's about the same, isn't it? Or has it been reduced a little bit? It looks kind of the same to me. I just want to take a quick peek. Oh, my mouse just died. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! The wire? Where is the wire? Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Well, my mouse just died. I think that's a good... <laughs> that's, a, that's a good sign to end our journey for today. Let me just... I can't even... Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go back in the woods. I don't have a sleeping bag because the last one that I bought, you know, just vanished and it didn't even help me recover from the accumulated fatigue. So I just decided not to just throw money in the wind for no reason at all. So we're just gonna log off in a bush. We're gonna chug some more coffee the next time we jump in. And it's gonna be fine. After messing around with this new fatigue system, I've come to the conclusion that it's like a fly on a hot summer day. It can't do any real damage to us, but it's annoying as fuck. 
But there you have it, that is about it for Scum today. Do please let me know down below how you guys are dealing with the fatigue. And thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out with me today. I hope you have enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.